We're going to talk about pet peeves today and my list is really just things that people do that fucking activate me. Let's just get this one right out of the way. Facebook statuses. You know who I'm talking about. The people that cannot get off Facebook and have to tell you everything. The ones that are on there every hour posting what they're doing. I just brushed my teeth. I'm making dinner. I'm eating dinner. I'm getting ready for bed. I'm going to bed. I can't sleep. I wish I could sleep. I'm waking up now. I just woke up. Like, shut the fuck up. No one gives a shit. Stop it. We don't care what you're doing. We don't care when you're doing it. Just go live your fucking life. The other ones, the ones that really get me though, are the wah, wah, wah. Those fucking ones. The ones that get on there and complain about everything all the time. Everything all the time. They will put all their personal information on there. They will let you know exactly what kind of drama is going on in their life. Get the fuck off Facebook and get into therapy. The other people on Facebook that really irritate me are the ones that are constantly posting like quote photos. No, get a fucking Pinterest. Dirty dish rags, especially in restaurants and like dirty sponges. Like, no, don't wipe up the mess and then let it sit there to funk and then reuse it again. That's not cleaning up your mess if you're using something dirty to clean. Ugh. And have you smelled it? Wait, before you wipe that counter, are you smelling it? No, you should. Because now, everyone's fucking food tastes like dirty dish rag. Cut the shit when you're in public and your butthole itches. When people are talking or posting about macarons, the pretty ones, and they write or say macaroons, that's not what they are. Macaroons are fucking toasty little coconut bites. Macarons are fancy, beautiful, little, delicate fucking explosion in your mouth. Here is a macaroon, here is a macaron. Get your shit together. When you reach your floor on the elevator and the doors take a while to open, makes me feel trapped. Let's take it back to social media. When people like their own statuses, photos, and videos. I'm like generally confused about that one. What does it do for you? I don't understand why you do it. When people say upside down triangle in makeup videos, it's a triangle. It doesn't matter which way it's going. It's still a triangle. Where do birds go when it rains? People who have lived in the same place their whole lives and bitch and complain about the weather every single year. As if it's a shocker that, oh my God, it's cold and snowing in New England in the winter. Oh my God, it's so hot in the summer. Hello, that's what happens every single year. If you do not like it, if you wanna get on Facebook and complain all the time about how cold it is and how you have to shovel snow and blah, 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 and it's so hot and it's so humid and blah, 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 fucking move. You are not a tree, you can move. When you hear somebody having to repeat themselves because the other person just doesn't get it. For example, let's tell a little story about um, what I witnessed at an ATM the other day. There was a man who was getting help from a bank employee to do something with his card in the ATM, whatever. Whatever was wrong, the bank employee was like, you have to call the number on the back of your card and let them know that it's not working. And the man said, but it's the machine. And the bank employee said, no, you need to call the number on the back of the card and let them know that it's not working. And the man said, but it's my check card. Yeah, so you need to call the number on the back of the card and let them know it's not working. Why did this guy have to repeat himself so many times? He should have just had to say it once and then you walk the fuck away and you call the number on the back of the card and let them know it's not working. Just like he told you to do. Why is that so difficult for people to just do what someone says to do. Why do you have to fucking like repeat yourself 300 times to get somebody to do something? Nero's playing with a toy while I'm trying to film. He was just sleeping. 
Can we take that somewhere else? Okay, I'll wait. We ain't got nothing to do. Are you done? Can I talk now? You're absolutely terrible at liner and lashes. And finally, the absolute biggest current pet peeve of mine when people are constantly asking me, when is my wedding? When's the wedding? We don't know yet, we'll let you know when we know. When's the wedding? We don't know yet, we'll let you know when we know. When's the wedding? Motherfucker, when we know when our wedding is, it will be on Facebook for you, okay? Or how about just wait like a normal person till you get the fucking save the date in the mail? It's so irritating that everyone just assumes that because somebody gets engaged, all of a sudden now, within a month or so, you better have your venue booked, you better have your fucking dress picked out. You no, okay? Let me just chill. Let me just enjoy being engaged. Let me not have to add any more extra stress to my fucking life by planning a wedding. We have to get married back home 3,000 miles away. I'm sorry I'm not interested right now in planning a wedding that's going to be 3,000 miles away from where I am right now. I don't have the ability to get on a plane right now and every few months to fucking go look at venues and do this and do that back home. Not happening. So, unless you wanna pay for everything for me to go and do all of that so you can know when our precious little fucking wedding date is, shut the fuck up with asking me when is the fucking wedding. I'll be engaged for 50 fucking years if I want to, okay? Stop asking when is our wedding. If you are important enough in our life to be at our wedding or be in our wedding, you will know when we know a date, okay? So, shh, shh. Seriously, people, stop fucking asking me. It is. <sighs> oh, that list. Oh. Now I'm all fucking piped up. And I need to pipe the fuck down. And I need to eat because I'm getting hangry. Can you tell? Yeah. <sighs> Pet peeves are so annoying. Let me know down below what your pet peeves are if you have any. If you don't have any, you're weird, you're not normal. So let me know down below what your pet peeves are and what videos you'd like to see from me. So thank you very much for coming by again and watching. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye! Imagine if like mirrors just straight up didn't exist, like and you literally had to do this all the time. I think if mirrors didn't exist, then like makeup just wouldn't exist. Like, who even invented makeup? Like, where did that even start? And who invented a mirror? Do you ever, like, wonder, like, about things? Like, I'm always like, who invented makeup?